So this is a little early morning. <laughs> I'll show you what time it is. Yeah, it's three o'clock. This is what I do. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick video. I know you guys are gonna say I'm crazy, but I worked part of Friday, part of Saturday, all of Sunday. So I'm actually kind of awake. So it's three o'clock. I'm going through Ben's work. And I wanted to show this new curriculum that we got. It's called ABC Bible. It's from the Crafty, Crafty something. I'd have to look it up. Crafty, Craft Room, Crafty something. But we are really enjoying it. It's very appropriate for Ben. Could be appropriate even for my um, kinder, which is Cole. I think this is meant for a like later pre-K, early kindergarten level. So I'm going to show you kind of what it is, what's included, and then how we use it. So it comes with, and I'm going to show it this way, um, basically a sheet that tells me what to do. One of the reasons we love this is because there's a letter, a theme, a vocab, a verse, as well as a character and a verse for that. That is why we fell in love with it, um, because I can use that for my Bible time for all of the kids. So this is the theme for all of the kids. For the C, our theme for all of the kids is commandments. We do a vocab, um, um, the verse I use for Ben, and the character I use for the kids. So I'm going to flip this around, show you kind of what's in here, and then how we are splitting it up each day. Because Ben, who is three, almost four, has really doesn't have a lot of um, fine motor. So some of this he really can't do, so we're just saving that. And then, because um, I, I don't know when we'll use this for Ellie, so I, I just printed everything and then I'm saving what I don't use. Also allows me to have extra material if um, Cole wants to do something or whatnot. And I have had to go back because one of the sheets, all the kids want to do. So I have to add it to the other kids' notebooks and I'll let, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. So let me turn it around. I want to show you what's in here. I have it kind of laid out all over the couch. So this, um, program it's actually laid out for you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we do a four day week as well. But um, I had to kind of do mine a little different because there's a handful of sheets we don't use. So how we are using it is, I have to laminate these, but I'm gonna laminate and cut these cue cards. And he'll have these um, on day one. Some of the things that come in it are, are, character so God is love and each letter is God is love God is what was the first one creator and I actually keep these in my notebook as well as our vocab sheet so this is a vocab and I just like it and so we show this to the kids simple easy also has the verse written here so these are the sheets I will not be using with my three-year-old um, here, just simple cat, 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 right? The C. So, anything that was super fine motor, we're not using. I like this. This is the um, daily math, just basic beginning math, just really simple. Um, this is the Bible verse. Again, we're not at that point. This I could maybe give to him, but again, we're not really doing that. This one I was going to give to him, but I chose not to because each day he had some kind of tracing and I just didn't need this extra sheet. So um, some of the things that I did not print out were actually the bingo cards because we really don't do bingo and the Bible uh, crowns that um, just weren't really interested for my kids. Other than that, I printed out everything else. So what's neat too here is Here's your Bible reading and some talking points, but like one question, or, you know, a couple questions, nothing crazy. So what will Ben be doing? 
So on Mondays, they will get their notebooks, and this will be in his notebook. So we will have his flashcards that we will go over. And then I'm going to have him either do a matching or tell me, what is this? And we use these for A, and um, I'm really liking the vocab that it's adding for him. So this will be in his notebook on Monday, as well as his, uh, as his upper and lower because we review this with all of our big kids and so we we call this the magic C from handwriting without tears and he traces this with his finger and he has started actually taking his crown and and tracing it so this will be in his notebook as well as his coloring page and this is the coloring page that all the other kids wanted as well so um i need to make more copies of this actually so that will be in his notebook on monday so then on Tuesday, I'm going to add these. These are meant so he can color these in, and he has actually tried to. What I like is how big these are. I, I, for him, who is not huge on um, fine motor, this is really easy for him to color. I think the last one he just kind of scribbled, but it was perfect. Um, also a little bit of coloring here if he's not interested in coloring this. Also reminds me to go over our verse. This is one I'll have to do with him, but I think this is a really good introduction for him of, let's find the C's. Oh, there's a C. Oh, there's another C. So I will probably give him a sticker or some one of those dabby markers. Um, this is something that I don't know how he's going to do. And we may not necessarily use it as it was completely intended. Like, we probably... Um, I will probably answer these for him, and we will just kind of introduce him to some questions, but I'm going to see if he'll try to trace this. Some of the letters he might be able to. If not, I'm just going to have him put a sticker. So what you do is you put a hole right here, put a, um, uh, what do you call it, paper clip, and then have him spin it. So I think he'll really like this. So if it lands on a little C, I'm going to see if he'll trace it. Maybe at least trace it with his finger or um, worse Worst case, just put a sticker. But it's just going to be starting to get some little bit of math in and some writing. And so this was his writing page for that day as well as that's a little bit of coloring. So that's his um, Tuesday paperwork. On Wednesday, we're going to add this big C, little C that's together. Um, and since this is going to be a little bit um, more of this is what I will do with him. And so basically, we're just going to have to go through this and then... Find the crown, put it there. Um, we might do this with stickers or those little do a dot things. So that's that. And then on, we do CC on Thursday. So then on Friday, um, I figured this would be a really good review for him and really starting to get him to do some smaller fine motors. I'm thinking I'm going to do the Q tips with paint here. So he's going to take the Q tip and also give him a little bit more of one on one. These are, um, Probably big enough that those, those little doodle dots are sorry. Um, th these are kind of small, so the doodle dot thingies might be a little too big. But again, tracing. And again, if he doesn't use his pencil, we're going to use our finger. Also, still has our Bible verse and another thing to color. This maze is probably too hard for him, so again, we're just going to trace it. Um, and we're just going to take it to his level. And this may be what I might be a little bit excited about. So, he has not done cutting, so I will probably have to cut these out. And then... But I want him to color it first, and then I'll cut it out. And then hopefully by the end of the year, um, he may be able to do some of that. But I want him to color these, color these, put them in here, has our verse, and we're going to make this little ABC quilt. Um, I'm excited about this because Ben doesn't have a lot of school stuff um, because he's not been interested. And he is interested this year, and so this is going to be like his little, his little project. So um, my goal this year for him is really to get him um, just to love learning and to do stuff. So this is basically all the stuff we have. And it's the crafty something. I can't remember it, but I'll put it in here. And again, this is, it's not on here anywhere. Um, every week is basically the same, but with a different letter. I truly have not looked past maybe letter like D, E, or F. So I don't know if some of these change. But if I'm correct, it should be the same. Same thing, different letter. And that's what it's been at least through A through F. Um, 
but yeah that's where we go i wonder i'm assuming i could probably link on this i haven't tried it so if you have any questions holla at me let me know and this is our letter c